Good morning, everyone. I don't know if you could see, let me see if my, there we go. You can see the snow, but it has been snowing at my house for probably the last 45 minutes. I'm just taking a little break from work and I curled my hair because I don't know, it's been looking kind of ratchet <laughs> the past few days. So curled my hair. It only took me like five minutes. I just do it pretty messy, but, and then I'm not wearing any makeup today and just giving my skin a break because I feel like I've kind of been wearing not like a lot of makeup, but I just hate putting anything on my skin, giving my face a break. So yeah, I'm enjoying the snow. It's so peaceful. I want to just make hot chocolate, curl up in bed and watch movies. So it's a nice day today. Are you going to go play in the snow? No. Take your bottle with you. You gotta leave it here. Whoa. You gotta leave your juice here. Make sure he has a beanie. Or a hat. <laughs> huh, baby? Oh, baby, you gotta make sure you're nice and toasty warm. Whoa, look at you. Look at you, baby! You're so cute! Hey, our favorites! What is it? Avocado. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Oh, now you want Avocado? some? Avocado? Now the mama's eating it, you want some? Mmm. <gasps> mmm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That might be one of my new favorites. No thanks. Watch, try it. It's good. What is it? Pineapple? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. It's really fresh. Mm. I am. <laughs> mm. You, you love it, baby? So mama started eating some. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what kind did you get? Cheesecake? Yeah, it's not that good. Is that the one that you usually get? No, I usually get the mango michelada. Oh, yeah. And I always get the cotton candy. Not cotton candy. Bubble, Bubble gum. gum. And you could put, like, whatever toppings you want on them, but I just get mine plain. Mm. You should put toppings, don't you? <laughs> I think you put mango. Oh. I saw though they do. He wants more. They do um, waffles now in the morning. Oh, really? They do waffles on a stick. Ooh, that sounds and they, good. Like, make them fresh, and then you could do the chocolate. You could do the fruit, all the toppings. Ooh, we're gonna have to try that. Look, he loves it. He didn't want to eat Look it. Look at his really. hands. He has some crust. Is that good, my baby? <laughs> and he still has his snow stuff on. I just got a package delivered and I'm so excited for this. So I figured I would open it with you guys. Ooh. So what this is, it's an air freshener for your car, but they're like luxury air fresheners. So the brand is called Odyssey Scent and I'll leave everything linked down below and the scent is velvet rose oud so really excited for this wow that smells so good oh my god this smells so good it smells like a perfume not like too strong of a perfumey scent but it just smells like very like clean and luxe, smells so good. And then, oops. This is inspired by the Black Opium perfume, which is really, really popular and smells so good. Oh my God, this is adorable. So, oh! You hang this from your mirror and it comes in this little glass bottle and it has a gold top which is just so fancy and cute cannot wait to hang this in my car Ooh, wow okay i could already smell it, it smells really good it smells just like black opium perfume Ooh, i don't know if i should hang them both that might be like too 
many cents in my car, but I definitely going to hang this one. And then maybe when it runs out, you could see the liquid in there. When it runs out, then I will put this guy in there because, wow, I'm so excited. I'm looking at the packaging and it actually looks like you could hang this anywhere. Um, so it says for your home, office, or vehicle. So I think I'm going to actually hang this in our closet somewhere. So that would be really nice to just walk into your closet. <laughs> it smells good. So I'm going to put this one in our closet and then I'm going to put this one in my car. All right. So I'm hanging this up in my car now and I'm reading the directions. So it says open lid. Okay. So unscrew the little lid. And then it says, pull off the little white plug, screw the cap back on the bottle, and flip the bottle upside down for five to 10 seconds. So the oil gets onto the wooden block of the lid. And then finally, move the bead up so you can hang where you'd prefer. Okay. So I'm making a rice and chicken soup in the crock pot, but I totally messed it up because you're supposed to make the rice before you put it in, of course. And I thought this was minute rice, so I made it how you make minute rice, and it's like so soggy and gross. So now I am heating up jasmine rice it was the only other kind of rice that I have in my pantry and I'm gonna add this in there instead and hopefully it comes out okay this recipe on Pinterest and it's really easy you just put chicken breast in a crock pot and you cook it on low for four to five hours and then you're supposed to make your rice and then add that and then you just add whatever kind of cheese you want and then you can add vegetables if you want, but honestly, we didn't really have any in our fridge. So we're just making it pretty plain. And then you can add whatever kind of seasoning. So I'll let you guys know how it comes out. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks gross to be honest, but it actually tastes so, so good. I kind of want to add like green chili to this, but... Beckham can't have green chili, so I might separate some for him and then add like some kind of green chili to the other half, but it's really good and really easy. So this is my little pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of. Honestly, 
I was planning on getting rid of more, but I don't know. I'm really bad at getting rid of clothes. So this is a star and at least it's something. I'm also getting rid of these Ugg boots. They're in pretty good condition, but I just never wear them. And I wanted to show you guys something. So you probably will not believe it, but these were my first pair of Uggs. They have a little hole, but the only reason why I'm keeping them is because my dad bought them for me and I was in eighth grade. Eighth grade. I don't even know how long ago that was. I don't feel like doing the math, but I cannot believe it that I've had these for that long and they're still so cozy and comfortable, um, you know, despite the hole and everything, but I just have to keep those because these are like vintage at this point. So yeah, I really should get rid of, you know, more shoes and stuff like that, but I just have too much clothes that I don't wear, but I just, it's so hard for me to get rid of it. I guess I'm like a clothes hoarder. I don't know. It's just really hard for me. <laughs> I hold on to everything. I don't know why I'm in an organizing mood, but now that I organized my closet, I really want to organize under here because like, just look at it, it is a disaster. So I'm gonna be taking everything out, going through everything and organizing it and hopefully make some room and just kind of condense everything because it looks like a tornado at this point. <laughs> You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. I just so much stuff in there but at least I got rid of some stuff and there's a little bit more organization and I feel like it does look a lot more condensed before it looks like I was just kind of throwing things in and didn't have a plan for it so it looks a lot better and then I just left this out because this is a really good lotion and I think I honestly forgot that it was even in there so I'm gonna leave this out just so I can use it all because there isn't really much in there. So I kind of just want to use it and get rid of it. And then this, ew, was like at the bottom of everything, but this is such a good face mask. I've had this for so long and I got it at Anthropology, like, I don't even know, probably two, three years ago, but it still works so, so good. It's sea salt and coconut and it's all natural vegan but you put it on and it just it's almost like an oil it like melts into your face and it clears your skin and leaves it so glowing and soft so I'm gonna try and use this hopefully it's still good and if not I'll just toss it so yeah it looks so much better now that I'm done organizing I just feel so accomplished I mean it wasn't anything like crazy big but Anytime I like organize or declutter, get rid of stuff, I just feel like lighter. I don't know, I think it's like a scientific fact that decluttering and getting rid of stuff just kind of lightens your load a little bit. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know, but it felt good to just organize and kind of tidy up stuff. So next thing that I need to do, but I'm not gonna do it tonight, I'll save that for maybe tomorrow, but 
on top of our vanity is like a total disaster. We just have so much on here. So I, that is definitely the next project, but it's already getting kind of late. So I'm gonna edit this video and get it ready for the morning. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye loves.